Hello everybody! Welcome to a new video. It's a quick and easy tutorial on how to make those fancy flat cap things. Um, this is just one way to make it. There's various ways, various patterns. This is my preferred way because I just think it's easier. So let's do it! You want to start by making the interfacing for the brim out of a felt weight interfacing. So that like thick felt stuff used to make purses, that's what we're looking for. You want to cut out a circle that is the same circumference as your head, and then another circle that is two inches bigger on the radius, so four inches bigger on the diameter. This is going to form the brim of your hat and add that much needed structure to the brim. So once you have that cut out, you're going to use it as a pattern piece and trace it onto your fashion fabric, or in this case, the blue velvet. When you cut it out, make sure to leave at least a half inch seam allowance on the outer edge, but no seam allowance on the inner edge. This will make sense, I promise.
for the top of the hat, you want to cut out another piece that is two inches larger than your brim on the radius, or four inches larger than your brim on the diameter. It just, it just needs to be bigger or it won't look right. After everything is cut out, it's time to start sewing. You start this by sewing wire to the brim of your hat. This will give it the much needed structure and make sure that it's sturdy and durable because we kind of abuse hats. Like they get thrown into suitcases and thrown into the tent and thrown into armor bags and jammed on your head and used as frisbees. No, they're not used as frisbees but you could, theoretically. Anyway, wire the brim, it'll be a lot more durable. If you are wiring the brim on your sewing machine, be very careful um, and go slow so that way you don't hit the wire. I like to use my presser foot as a gauge for this. Um, you can also sew this on by hand if you are worried about running a piece of wire underneath your sewing machine. Once the wire is sewn on, you need to sew the fashion layers of the brim together. Follow the line that you had marked for where the stitch needs to be. After everything is stitched, you need to turn the fashion layers of the brim piece. Then you put the wired interfacing inside those turned pieces of the brim and pin it down. Guess what? We're halfway through. We're halfway through. Halfway through. So easy projects, love it. Okay. <laughs> Sew a gathering stitch around the top of the hat piece. So you know that like large circle that we cut out, you need to gather that down.
Once it is all gathered, you need to pin the brim to the top piece. After it is pinned, you need to sew them together. You could do this by hand or on the sewing machine. It's up to you. I like to use my machine because I hate hand sewing. After the brim and the top piece have been sewn together, you need to add bias tape in a thinner but matching material. I used a polyester taffeta for this. Um, you can use cotton, you can use silk, just whatever you want. Just make sure it's thinner so it doesn't add that much bulk. I went ahead and sewed the bias tape down with my sewing machine again. If you want to do this by hand, by all means, do it by hand. It just, you'd be my hero. Um, and once all of the bias tape was sewn onto the brim, I went ahead and turned and finished it by hand. And then we have a finished slat cap. This is the simplest project I have done in a long time. 
I need to make more of them. They're a fantastic accessory. They go well with men and women's clothing, even though women wore different headdresses, but it's... I feel like historical clothing nowadays is left to your own personal interpretation and not really like you have to be 100% historical. Unless you want to, then by all means be 100% historical because that's cool and you will look awesome and people will paint portraits of you. No, people won't paint portraits of you, but they'll want to. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you missed the entire series on the making of this menswear outfit, then I'll link it here and in the description for you because why not? That's you should see the awesomeness of this outfit. It's there's no excuse. Go watch the videos. Bye guys. I don't even know where I'm going with all of this. Blah, blah, blah. Ugh, this is so hard. Why is this so hard? Ugh. We'll just we'll just cut that.